What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we're going to be talking about these mythic charms we're getting now from Dura's Trial. Now, not everybody is going to be there, but as you guys can see, we're getting to the point where we're upgrading our tiers very, very quickly, and we're basically just being locked at this point on our account based on the season day. Other people are most likely going to be stopped on their AFK progress, because of course, even getting to, what is it, date this 12 here, uh, it takes quite a bit to get to this one here, so just remember, it will happen eventually but farming these chests up are super important because now we're getting to the point where our heroes are getting kind of stacked with these bonus just abilities and there's a ton of them for every hero so it's not like once you get one of them you're done on that hero there are a ridiculous amount of these on every single hero actually in total there's what uh nine one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah there's nine i believe in total well, actually, maybe 10 because we have this one right here. Huh. Interesting. I wonder what this thumb is for. I've never actually seen that. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me check these other ones, too. Uh, oh, maybe they're because, oh, we have them on different spots, too. So we've actually got quite a few of them here that selection is going to start being important. And you're going to have to farm a lot of them because you want to find the perfect item for each. Being that he is a tank most of the time, I'm going to be running HP and haste. Uh, over here you can see we found one that increases skill power and HP and then over here we have two of them and this is where these mythic charms are going to have to be a little bit of a RNG to figure out exactly what you want to use again we have one that has HP skill power perfect for when I want to push AFK stages but then I might want to change over to this one whenever I'm doing something more offensive and we care about his damage because this one increases his attack percentage and his ultimate strength so having the exact right kit is going to take a little work it's not like farm up the legendary ones here uh, these mythic ones just do the same thing as legendary so you don't have to feel like you're missing out on your bonuses however on some of these heroes you are gonna notice a much more powerful effect based on what you can find and finding the exact one for everybody is going to be something that we're gonna have to take a long time for and figure out but in this situation here even on our Soren too we have a skill power attack we have a attack life drain this is actually really cool you can even get life drain on heroes and a hero like soren is perfect because he does have some survivability issues and then we have other ones that are physical and crit uh defense essentially it feels like these are most of the time more of a defensive stat over here but you can see there are so many different items that you can get for these stat lines it's pretty crazy how customized you can make these heroes but you'll notice each one has a different grouping of them as well based on the slot that they are in so it's not like universal across all of them they all have different abilities that pop up and if you want to pause on any of these to see what they all are you can actually looks like yeah this one's the regular old it looks weird because like this is the mythic this is the lowest tier but they look so similar on the icon but you can see like this getting a ton of life drain on a, uh, a hero like soren could be absolutely huge and beyond that what does happen once you start unlocking uh level 12 we want to actually go over to the charm merchant in the ashen waste which is going to take us a second to load but this is really really big because this merchant here sell some really good stuff especially for the newest hero so if you want to make sure you get charms for maybe the new hero coming this week you want to be saving these resources up first and foremost never ever 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 really invest in anything golden essence wise it's just not really needed crimson essence is the way to go and even then i would not buy the legendary chest whatsoever i would wait until these unlock and these unlock once you clear as you guys can see here you have to clear the 12th floor on both the sunrise and sunset of that exact class so this one's your mage this one's here for uh i want to say ranger but marksman and this one is for support so we've got three of them unlocked the other three are not unlocked tomorrow everything should be open on i believe sunset oh it's always confusing which one but yeah that's really good and then beyond that you can notice here i've already bought out two different sets technically three and we're waiting on the also one this gives you a random three it gives you one of each piece of each slot for the newest heroes which i imagine will have another three of them pop up a yellow uh, a red and a, a mythic version basically when the new hero comes out which i still feel like is going to be mikola this week uh, but you want to make sure you save up at least 480 so you can buy a full set for her immediately so you can do testing and proper setups and everything then after that i would start trying to focus on 
the heroes that you want the most me personally i think i might try to upgrade the marksman ones the most just because marksmen are the go-to with uh you know focusing on odie focusing on merrily getting those two fully maxed out on their magic charms and getting the proper offensive ones maybe with really good secondary stats is probably going to take priority and speaking of that let me take a look at my merrily right now we do have one of them and one of them is pretty solid we have attack and execution on her which is actually really huge in case you don't know what any of these stats do uh there's a lot of them listed in here some of them are like execution where every point of execution increases the damage dealt by one percent to targets that are below 50 percent hp this isn't going to be relevant when we're talking about endless bosses though it would have been more relevant leading up to the endless dream realm bosses but the, they don't like lose hp they don't have a percentage so i don't believe execution works on them but there's other things here that work as well things like skill power skill power can increase the effectiveness of their second and third skills of an ally or an enemy the specific enhancement varies by skill see the skill description for more details i haven't found what that actually means there and then we also have ultimate strength the same thing as uh skill power but it only works on the ultimate i would have thought there was like something else going on here but I don't know if there's like a hidden level or something that we're not getting or something. I don't know. Maybe what it means is like if you're at level three and you're a lower level, it gives you level four. So I don't know. We'll have to do some research research to see if skill power actually does anything. Uh, but you can see here there's a bunch of different ones. You can go for like most likely you want to find anyone that has like attack most likely is my guess, which I'm kind of liking the one I have right now. A lot of these become more defensive, although the acute charm with attack haste seems really, really good. There's a lot of them down here. Haste crit, HP attack speed, ultimate strength, and skill power there. No, don't really like a lot of those. Uh, and again, ultimate strength, maybe it does the same thing. We have to get some clarification on how they work, but like ones like this, the Reaper charm, getting it in like multiple areas would be pretty cool. If you get like Reaper on all of them, that would mean you're netting like 15% attack and 30 execution, which could be pretty insane. So farming these is going to be important, but it does give an insanely big amount of power to your account. It just feels bad when you have a situation like this happen and my Velen already has two of them unlocked. Oh, and I think like one of my other heroes yeah <laughs> capra <laughs> like come on man is this really a thing or is this really happening like my least used heroes have some of my best magic charms right now there's got to be an odds on here where like you have a higher chance of these low quality heroes getting stuff and then meanwhile i'm like oh you know who i really 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 wanted on i want alsa and I'm still sitting on this on my Alsa. Yes, we could probably try, we could have like buy her set, but I just feel like it's a waste at this point. But that is what I am talking about here. And again, make sure you guys are keeping an eye on the Charm Merchant because this is, might be some big upgrades for your account and help fill in slots that you might not have. And again, if you're going to go for the new hero, make sure you have at least 480 saved up so you can get a standard basic set of the Mythic Charms for them. And then it'll be pretty good. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. At least this only takes level 12. You don't have to go higher than the 12th floor to unlock these things, which is good. Don't know if we're going to get any more in the future. Probably not. But that is all we know about the Mythic Charms right now. The Magic Charm store and all that stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.